What is going on guys? This is Ben here. In today's video, we are going to be opening some super magical chests. You can see we have some gems and everything. And then also, I am 10-1 in the Grand Challenge. So we're going to be finishing this one out, hopefully getting the 12 wins. But you know, sometimes that doesn't happen. You get unlucky or you just play bad or whatever. And the battle deck that I'm using right here is the uh, Executioner with the Tornado. This is the one I kind of made myself just... Combined the two strategies, really, the Hog Rider with the Goblin Barrel, and then the Executioner and Tornado. And then uh, the reason why I have the Goblin Gang in here is to, like, bait the logs a little bit so my Goblin Barrel can be go pretty much go dirty. And then I have the Poison for either, like, Three Musketeers, Graveyard, and uh, just, a, just a whole lot of other things that comes useful in, like, when people try and use, like, uh, like Skeletons or Minions to stop the Hog Rider. It just helps out. And, and Elixir Collector. So that's the Battle Deck. And uh, let's get opening a chest right now. And that actually has taken me to also like 5,300 in trophies this season, which is obviously since it's still like 20 days left in the season, it's still that high. But guys, definitely leave a like if you guys are excited for the video. And uh, don't, forget don't forget to subscribe for more Clash Royale videos if you're new to the channel. And definitely hit the bell to be part of that highly coveted notification squad. <laughs> uh, hopefully we get a legendary right off the bat. Oh, no, we don't. So, no legendary right off the bat. We did get a lot of gold. So, there is that, and then very soon here, guys, I don't know if I'm going to upload it tonight, or in the morning, I'm going to be doing a more, a super, a legendary super magical chest hunting on my level 1 account. So, stay tuned for that, a lot of you love that, seeing the legendaries from that one, seeing how high I can go, and yes, we finally get a legendary. Give me something that I don't have maxed, that's all that I care about. <laughs> okay, we'll take the Electro Wizard, he's pretty nasty, especially when you get him maxed out, so nice, we're getting fairly... We're, we're getting there. After every video, it seems like after I get some legendaries, getting oh so close to completely maxing the account. But it is what it is. We're still like pretty far on the bandit because the bandit just came out. And whenever this Night Witch gets unlocked, have a whole, whole farther way to go. So I'm actually going to throw on the headphones right now. We're getting straight into this match. I should have did like a warm up match because well, I was 10 and 1 like way earlier this morning. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I don't really have a really aggressive opening hand. It's more for defense. And I don't want to throw down the Executioner just yet. Uh, I'll actually throw down the Poison on the Electro Wizard. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to see. I, I could see either a Golem Battle Deck or just something else. So we'll actually start off with the Goblin Barrel Hog Rider now. We'll eat the damage from the Electro Wizard because it doesn't really matter. So I don't know. It, it could be some sort of Hog... Oh my god. Expo? I was not expecting the expo. That kind of sucks. So I wasted a ton of elixir. And you can see that's coming back to eat me. Quite a bit. Because I'm just getting absolutely shredded by the expo. I think we have a good matchup versus a lot of, like, pretty much everything other than mortar and expos. <laughs> that's our hard counter for a battle deck. Because I don't, I mean, yes, I have the hog rider to get to the expo, but a lot of people run, like, those lowly, like, like the, obviously like the skeletons like he has all that other stuff and it's just not a good matchup for me so i usually typically lose to the expo and mortars so this one's not really off to a good start hopefully next next round we can do all right i'll actually throw on the goblin gang, goblin gang. i'm trying to lure out the, the log there it goes uh it's not really gonna matter a whole lot he's basically gonna counter the counter my stuff fairly easily and now he has that inferno tower there so if i were to hog rider that expo is just gonna be sort of like basically keep a, kept alive because of the freaking inferno tower man uh i don't really have anything good to drop we'll just throw on a poison i'm sitting at 10 elixir he'll throw on that expo most likely you know we're just gonna try the hog rider why not yes he has the electro wizard uh, i just can't sit I'm like dude it's already taken around that much damage or that the expo has already almost killed my tower in that short of time that's how crazy strong it is well it just has a super good matchup. Because, like, yeah, if you like, run, like, Golem or Defensive Building, it is what it is, dude. I need to stop complaining. We'll just try and win. But, dude, that Relentless. Okay. I throw it on that, I guess. That's cool. We're going to have to make this epic comeback, guys. We're going to have to, like, get another crown here. The Inferno Tower dropped. Yeah. I think we're going to say GG to this one, man. <laughs> We will take one tower though, but I have to have like amazing push right now if I want to try and win this. There's 17 seconds left. He has the expo to counter the hog rider. He saved the log. So I have 10 seconds, guys. I gotta go in. He's gonna drop that in front of tower. Gotta go in. 
Oh, oh, we have a chance. <laughs> Not really. So yeah, you can see I just can't, I can't stop it. So maybe soon you guys will see an expo. I don't know. But yeah, definitely the hard counters, which is sometimes around the golem. Well, mainly I'm running the golem a lot. It has a much better matchup. So honestly, since so many people run those, typically you, I never really see those that high up in the grand challenge, to be completely honest. So take it, take it for what it is. We lost that one. But either way, we still get a really nice chest. Uh, if we win this one, we get an 11 win chest. Okay, we'll go in here. Gonna leave me kind of dry on resources for now. Uh, so if he has the graveyard or something, it's gonna suck a little bit, but hey. We're gonna get some nice damage done to the tower. He wasted the the tornado, so we know he has that. Yes, we activated the king tower, but I'm not really too worried about that. We might see the graveyard here. Oh, we didn't. Okay, we see baby dragon with the with the bowler. That's gonna be a little bit of dirty. I could use a tornado here. I probably should have, but we'll just eat the baby dragon. Why not? Uh, I don't really have a whole lot to drop right now, though. <laughs> I don't know, it could be either like a hog rider bowler or just bowler graveyard. The standard stuff, so I'm not sure what we're gonna see, but I'll toss down the goblin gang. Don't really have a whole lot to drop, to be completely honest. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess it's the graveyard right now, so I'm actually gonna save the the poison. Just curious, I'm just very curious to see what we're gonna see. Uh, I guess we'll just throw it on the goblin barrel? I mean, don't really... I don't have a whole lot to drop. Yes, we saw the graveyard. There it is. So we'll throw on the hog rider. Poison the graveyard. And see kind of what happens to his Electro Wizard. I don't know if it's going to die to my baby dragon or not. We don't really have a good use for the log either. So might as well get some chip damage. I feel as though it's going to be like once I get his one... Like once we get double elixir, I'm going to need to like chip away at his tower to get the victory. Because yes, he has the graveyard, but we have a we have a pretty good matchup versus the graveyard. So I'm I'm cool with it. We'll probably see it down up here. I don't even know. Very, very soon. So he probably has the poison. So I'll throw the baby dragon in the back. Okay, he's gonna throw it up at the front. We'll actually tornado all of this stuff. Just so the executioner can take care of it. And then we'll throw it on all of this. Yes, we're eating a little bit of damage. That's cool. Get some more. Nice, come on. Okay. See my graveyard on this, too. Let's get this away. Baby dragon out. Nice, we took care of his stuff. I just need to poison his tower. Oh, I'm just basically playing defense. So nice. And if I throw it on the hog rider, it should get there. Not really too worried about it. You could have argued I, I should save my poison for his... For his uh his graveyard, but I think we're fine. Hit him with a good game. Nice. So you can see the battle deck is working how it's supposed to there, not just getting completely countered by the expo. So we're up to eleven wins. Adds a bunch of cards to our chest. Let's see what it goes up from. I don't even know. Up to 860 cards, so that's nice. And we're still on the rise. So we'll actually donate that for you. Um, I don't sorry man. I don't have any comments literally the only thing I can request for for cards right now is this heal So other than that pretty much got everything else and I'll open up another super magical for you guys Can we get a free chest legendary? Nah, not 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 the free chest. What about the crown chest? We got lucky the other day With that bandit. Nah, I don't think so another epic though. We'll take the gold from it. Oh, and we got the silver chest too Ooh, ooh. What other than that, how are you guys doing, like, chest-wise? Are you getting a lot of... Actually, I'm going to buy some more, more more gems here. One second. All right, so we bought the cheap pack just to be able to buy this or open up this another super magical chest. See if we can get that legendary. We got the Electro Wizard already, which is fine. See if we can make another one. Get another one. Come on. Mmm! No! Come on! <laughs> So we're, we're we're one for what one for three on legendaries out of the super magical. We'll we'll have to see if the grand challenge can make up for it. So hopefully I can get a victory for you guys. Searching for opponent, a little nervous. So whatever battle deck we go up against is probably someone that um, has a. I can't get my chair forward, man. That's why I'm going like this. 
Uh, it's gonna be up against probably someone that has a really good battle deck as well. It's just very curious to see what we're actually gonna go up against. I really wish I would have had my tornado on this opening push, guys. That would have helped out immensely because I would have activated my king tower. So a lot of times, you, you get kind of shafted with a bad hand, which does suck. But not much you can do about that. Oh, and he has executioner. Okay. So we'll just drift him into the front. We're both tornadoing. I think he got the better deal out of that one, which kind of leaves me open to getting hog riders. So we were running a very similar battle deck. You guys can definitely tell. A lot of people are running this one. If I hog rider, I feel as though he's gonna hog rider too. So we'll throw on ours. He doesn't have tornado. He does have the log. Okay. He's got a faster cycle than me. He's got ice spirit along with the. Along with the uh, the skeleton, so he's definitely gonna have a the like a way faster cycle, like I said. But I think in double elixir, will we should fare okay. I'm not gonna have to worry about that hog rider right now. So we'll throw on the baby dragon, just counter that executioner, take him out. You know, uh, I could goblin barrel on this one, try and maybe get one goblin alive or something. Nah. Completely read through that one, so we're gonna see the hog rider here. We're gonna activate our king tower on this one. And then there we go, took him out. Now let's see, we got the executioner drop. So he did get a hit though, that's the sad thing. Since like he had that he had that really good opening drop where I couldn't counter it, you can see he's getting the damages done. So I'm gonna need to actually Start cycling my poison. And he has the lightning. Uh-oh. This is not good, guys. But he should be a little bit low on elixir. Tornado me. Okay. Yeah, I think he's got this one, guys. I don't know. Like, the baby dragon's gonna get some damage, but he has that lightning spell. He's got everything else. We'll tornado this guy over here. Method on this, and then we're, we're gonna try and get a really big push going on this left hand side. We have like 25 seconds left. We know he has that tornado. There's the lightning spell. He got the tower. Throw the trick goblin barrel, see what happens. Tornadoed me. Logged. Nah, we don't got this one, guys. Dang it, man! Which sucks because. It was a very similar matchup, but it's just like, you can see the, the difference was that opening freaking push, man, that I couldn't really counter the best. So GG, you can see how strong the Hog Rider with the Executioner is. I definitely recommend maybe trying it out. So, sadly, 11 wins. That's still a really good chest. Let's see. See if we can get that Legendary, please. Come on, give me something good. Eight, eight cards there. Eight, seven cards left. We need epics, man. Okay, we're getting a lot of commons. There's the rares. Some more rares. Some more rares. We need epics. Oh my gosh. So we did not get the legendary. Which sucks. We got the Dark Prince out of here. So only one legendary in the video. 11 and, 11 and 3. It's alright. Um, other than that, we'll, we'll do a regular match. You guys can see this is the highest my, the, my highest my trophy count has been this entire season. So where am I? top in the United States 84th so I've been dropping I really haven't been pushing that much I've been just kind of like playing here and there so we'll see we'll see how this one matches I'm kind of scared okay I had to actually restart the matchmaker I wasn't getting into any matches man so we're going up against Ruzgar from Turkey uh I have a pretty aggressive opening hand we do see the princess We'll actually opt to it. So it's either going to be... Yeah, I think I know what battle deck he's running. Um, he's going to have a rocket and an inferno tower. Unless he opted to choose the... Oh, Jesus, dude. Why is the tornado always at the bottom of my battle deck when I need it? <laughs> Two matches in a row. Because it's such a good counter to the hog rider. Like, the tornado literally... You can drag it to the middle, activate your king tower, and then you have that advantage the rest of the game. So it sucks that you don't start out with it and go against the Hog Rider, but we'll try and turn it around. So I'm guessing it's going to be, maybe he has the Inferno Tower. I don't know. Maybe he opted, like I said, to change it for the Tornado. 
but he does have the princess in there. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll he's going over here. I'll just poison the princess because it's gonna be very annoying to deal with. Okay, I actually don't have any idea what he's gonna be running. I'm not gonna activate the King Tower. We're actually gonna tornado all of that stuff, which I think we got the better end of the deal on that one. So he did get a hit. I'm okay with it because now we can do this and get that log ready. For, ooh, ooh! I thought he was gonna actually drop the the Goblin Gang, which is fine. Um, we're still getting that tower damage in there. Pretty much evened it up. We're we're probably I don't know what we're gonna see actually. I don't know if the knight will drop. Do I need to drop this this Goblin Gang? I think I do. Still got a hit, so that was a wasted drop by me. But we'll poison the princess. That's what we're, that's what we're using. It's, it's yes, it's a negative elixir trade, but we get the tower damage in there because that's what it's coming down to, as you guys can see, chip damage. And basically, we hit this double elixir spike now. So we'll we'll activate the king tower here. I'm glad we did that because yes, he did lightning spell, so that'll help out uh, the princess drop. We're actually log it this time. So you see, you can see he's going for the chip damage too, guys, because he knows how important it is. We'll poison the tower. We should take it on this push. It was a little maybe overkill with the poison, but I don't really want to worry about the about that goblin getting later. So there we go. Nice. It's looking pretty good for us. I don't... He has the lightning spell, so he's he's just going to need that... Oh, I think he got it now. Yeah, so he has enough damage for that lightning spell, so we'll actually throw on our execution over here. And when he lightnings, we're going to go on a big push. So we'll start getting all of our stuff ready here. The hog rider. I'm just waiting for this, this ice wizard to drop. Oof. Poison all of that, and we're gonna get value poison now. Throwing on the Goblin Gang up front. We're getting a lot of damage done in there. Well, decent damage. More than what he has done to us. So there's the Hog Rider. We'll actually drag him over to my King Tower. Change his direction a little bit. Nice. So we might get lightning here. I'm fine if we do. But we have 30 seconds to try and win. So we'll drop this. Put on the poison. So he does have the log. Okay. Yeah, dude. He played for the draw. Because <laughs> he saw that was... And so if this was a tournament match, we would have got the victory. But... I don't know, man. It was a it was a good match from the start. I guess we'll hit him with a good game. I, I get a lot of draws now. <laughs> Sadly, I think we would if that if the match was longer. I know we probably would have won that one But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, Sadly not a whole lot of legendaries, but it happens. You can't get them all the time We are almost maxed on gold once again So Give us some legendaries in the shop clash royale. Come on, but other than that Yeah, I think the next video will be that level one where we go ham trying to get those legendaries as well So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys later